My name is Sherry and I was recently admitted to the University of Southern California. I'm going to be beginning my master's degree in social work. My name is Lazarus. I'm a senior at USC. I also work in property management. My name is Laura and I work at David and Margaret Group Home and I do advocacy work for foster youth. My name is Margot Newman and I have been working with the To Foster Change initiative for about a year producing content. Our objective with this project, all of you will create a two to five minute video sharing some aspect of your unique experience in foster care and how that experience has helped shape you into the people that you are today. We've paired eight youth with professional filmmakers to help them craft and build out a portrait of themselves that we can share with the general audience. We're gonna give you the cameras and the microphones that you'll be using, and then I want you guys to go out and have some fun shooting. It's not every day that you get to shoot your own documentary. You're not provided with a camera and tripods and the training to go out and you know facilitate something like that by yourself. And this diaries program has equipped us. You know, also has helped us share our stories with the world. Where I come from, usually you don't talk to anybody about nothing. You know, because right. it's so different having other people like hear your story and maybe you feel like I'm being judged. My project is more of a documentary on my life and where I started, how I got into the foster care system and some of my accomplishments that I've made in life as far as being an advocate for foster youth. My video diary is about sharing how I am not a statistic. Statistics really have tried to define my life when that's absolutely not true. What I want the audience to see to walk away from mine. My passion my drive, the hunger that lets you know that I'm very serious of my goal in life and that I'm not going to stop until I do reach it. I was so worried about everything being so perfect. I was worried about if this is going to come out right. I was worried about if this shot is going to be exactly how I wanted it. But when I got with my mentor, she was like, wow, you captured some amazing footage. She told me that she wanted to really send the message of the importance of self-love. It's a really powerful love letter to herself. I'm going to be narrating throughout the whole thing like their diamond. I want the audience to walk away with some form of like understanding of self-love. Okay, you might be going through this, but it's not going to be forever. It's temporary. I do come from a white and a black family, so I am mixed. So I never really felt like I fit in for a long time. I took me being different and turned it into a positive. I just had to show how fabulous I am. And I want people to know that you can do anything. If somebody had said that to me, it would have been incredible. I share a background. I was in a foster home. I have a certain experience. Telling my story my way, it's powerful for both. For me to receive from people and for them to receive from me. The most important piece of your story is your truth. That's what I really appreciate about this program and the more we can hear their voices and their experiences, no matter how hard it is what they're saying to some people, it's truth and in order for things to change and in order for there to be healing. This is about changing and transforming the narrative that people have about foster youth. This project has really fostered in me a desire um, in a true passion to be able to change my advocacy to activism. I just want people to see this as a way to perhaps maybe lend a hand to the foster care community, to get more involved, and also to see them for these amazing people that they are, and not just look at them as being in the foster care system. I've learned more about the industry and how I can become involved in it and that it is a possibility for me to become involved in it in the first place. Today, I am hopeful that this does not mark the end of a chapter, but rather the beginning of a chapter. You may tell a tale that takes up residence in someone's soul, becomes their blood and self and purpose. That tale will move them and drive them because of your words. PBS would like to present you with a small token of thanks. This is all your camera equipment. You get it back. This camera is going to be the start to my television series, Watch Out Shonda Rhimes, Here I Come, PBS Got Me, an amazing camera. For me, seeing my video on film, this was my first time seeing it, even after the editor worked with it too, so I kind of had the chills. Finishing my film means uh, kind of like a sense of freedom and empowerment. The film I saw, not just me, but I saw all foster youth saying we are not your statistics. We will make change. It's not about what happened to us, it's about what we're doing today. I'm hoping that it will not only empower the next generation of former foster youth to feel comfortable 
saying this is what happened to me and this is where I am now, but everybody who watches it will feel touched and moved and informed in a first person sense. The greatest story in the world is the one that we tell that's our truth. So if they're exercising, telling their truth, I know it's gonna be amazing. It's helping me tell better stories and I'm hoping that through my stories that other foster youth are able to do the same thing. It only takes one caring adult to change the life of a foster youth. Why not you? To fosterchange.org.